Hi, it's Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this wine box or bottle box. This is 12 inches long by 3 inch square at the bottom. It will fit a wine bottle, as you can see down there. Um, now to make this, I'm going to show you how to make a 12 inch box. I made this one using A3 card so I didn't have to you know manipulate it like I'm going to do with the other one. The one I'm going to show you I'm going to make with an A4 card in Britain but in America you can do the same and I will tell you where you adjust. So to make this you will need all this card. Right, you need two pieces of two pieces of cardstock at eleven and three quarters. I think it's eleven and three quarters, it should be. Yeah. Not quite. Yeah, eleven and three quarters by six and a half. So you need two of them. Or in America, 11 by 6.5. You need that is for the box, and you need a 3 inch square base, and this one is a 2 by 7 8 inch square base that will go on the inside. So you need them. Now that is just for the box. But because by the time we finish this is only going to be 11 inches and we need to make it 12 inches, I have got here two pieces of card at six and a half, six and a half inches by four inches. And this is going to give us our extra inch of um, space up here to make it a 12 inch box. In America you will need this to be um, six and a half by six because you will need to add a two inch um, top for your bottles for your for you to make it a 12 inch box. Um, the rest is all for decoration which we'll get to afterwards. Right, to make this box we'll need a scoreboard. And a school tool, which I've got. Right, you want to score these at a half an inch. And three inches, three and a half inches, sorry. Yeah. So it's half an inch and three and a half inches. Turn it round and you want to do it on three quarters of an inch. So, do the same with the other one, half an inch and three and a half inches. Turn it around and do three quarters of an inch. Right, with the two four and a half by four by six and a half. You want to put it in, score it at half an inch and then oh, half an inch, yeah. And then you want to score it at turn it over. You want to score it at two and I 
15 sixteenths. Now to do that you can pull it in just so it's halfway on the first notch. Not quite in it so it's just halfway before you get there and mark it at two and seven eighths. Now you mark it at three inches. Scrap that. So we know what we're doing. We'll score these on the um, trimmer because it's got the sixteenths of an inch. And get the dust off because I don't use this very often. Right, you score this at two and fifteen sixteenths. And just score, or use your score tool, it'll be easier. And the same again, put that score line at two and sixteenths. Like that, and then score again. Turn it round, doesn't matter which way. This is four inches, isn't it? Yeah. Score it at, long ways, at two inches. And then what you could do is at the one inch mark. Score again but lightly, just lightly, you don't need to do it really thick because that would just be like a marker for you, an easy marker. So do that again, put it in, portrait way, and score it at 2 and 15 sixteenths, and score. Um, do that again at four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. No. Five and seven eighths. That's it. Which should put that at the sixteenth mark. Yep. Five and seven eighths. So that's two and fifteen sixteenths, and five and seven eighths. Turn it round, score it lightly at one inch, just lightly, just to give you a marker, and then score it at two inch, normal scoring. So that's that. You can't see with it being white, sorry. Hope you got that. I should have actually made one of these this way, then I know what I'm doing. Because I'm winging it at the moment. Right, with your boxes and the three quarter inch at the bottom. Now, if you're in America, I would only make this half an inch. So that then this bit would be ten and a half inches. Right, just cut up the middle there and cut out a triangle there and do the same here. Cut out, wedge the, and that's what that should look like. And do that with both of them. So you wedge the edge, cut up. This is a sticky. Put a wedge in there and put a wedge in there. That'll come out. Put a wedge in there and a wedge in there. That's our box. Then, with the bone folder, we burnish our score lines. So don't forget in America 
if you are making this with your 11 inch, I'm sure your paper is 11 inch, if it is, um, or you could make it by 12 by 12 if you're cutting up a 12 by 12, you could um, still cut out the three quarter and make it this way, if not, um, if you're doing it with 11, just cut a half, uh, score it at half an inch at the bottom <coughs> and you'll have ten and a half here. I think I folded that one in the middle, didn't it? We need to stick these together like that. I'm going to use glue. This card I'm using is actually 300 GSM, so it's quite a thick card. <coughs> it was an A3 card, but I cut it in half and made two A4s. Now this is the time where you could put down your um, pattern, your design, or stamping design, or your series, design a series paper, whatever you choose. You could put it down now, but as we haven't done our front, we will put it down afterwards. Right, no need to glue this bit. If you're lucky enough to have A3 paper and you want to make this, you will just cut your card at 15 inches long by six and a half and score it at three inches at the bottom. That is our square box. And we're going to fold these down and glue these, just the corners, trying to keep the box square. Now, I'm using my grid paper to keep it square. Most probably won't stick down, but they will do once we put our 
three by three square down on top like this and that will help square it off so I'm going to put plenty of glue on this and I'm going to stick that on there. Turn it over and with my ruler, press it all down. Not very forceful this. I don't think I can get my hand in. I can. Right, and with the two and seven eighth, put glue all over that. Now all this does is add strength to the bottom of the box. Because once you put in a full bottle of wine, it is quite heavy. Right. All around the edge and in the middle. And I have got that piece in and that makes it really tough at the bottom stable enough to hold a bottle of wine so there's our 11 inch box it should be 11 inches it is our 11 inch box but we want it to be 12 inches so with these Four by six and a quarter, six and a half. We will prepare them and cut them out. Now we will need um, so that's going to go on the inside. I told you I should have done this before. Right. Wedge up and a small wedge up the middle there. And a tiny wedge off there. This, yeah, but take this one off. So the half with the one inch, remove that rectangle there. And what we're going to do is fold this in half. And then we're going to fold on that. And we're going to fold on that. So we're going to add these to this. So let's do this again. So with this we cut right up there and give it a wedge and wedge that one. And you also want to wedge these middle ones, just a small wedge, you don't need loads. Also here, just a tiny bit off, and here. Right, we're just going to burnish the score lines on this.
don't burnish this score line because that is only there for a guidance you don't need to burnish that one inch score line now what we're going to do is oh I did that the wrong way around stupid woman that's better what we're going to do is glue that to that one and make a square box out of this without a top or a bottom now the reason why we cut this a sixteenth or we scored it a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the three inch box is because this is going to actually go inside this So we're going to glue that on there. Now this, we're going to glue these and tuck them down. I thought we should do it this way. That's it, yeah. We need to do it this way. So we're tucking them down the outside, so we just need to put some glue on them. Don't need to put a lot, just enough to hold it down while we're gluing it. Inside here, and it will do. If it don't get caught, and that is what gives us our extra inch. And we just glue that on there, like that. So. Probably you'll have to put the glue on all four sides all at once. And place it in the box. and just place it up to the line and that should be even inch all the way round and 
have this. We'll make our box 12 inches. Just doing, just by adding this lip, we have made that 12 inches. Which I'm quite happy with. Right, to make the lid, let me take a drink of my tea my husband made me. I've got two pieces of red linen look cardstock at six and a half by four and a half. And I've also got a I've got three. Oh, I've got three. In fact, this is the wrong red. Let me go and cut some more. Six and a half by four and a half. Let me just go and cut some more. rather than the guillotine. Right, six and a half. By four and a half. Is that right? Linen look cards not come from. <laughs> Got too much of that over. Right, now I need this again to score. To score this, we're going to do it at three and one sixteenth of an inch. Let's use me scoring tool. So that's three and one sixteenth plus six and one eighth. Right now, this needs to be three inches and score it down and do the other side exactly the same three and one sixteenth of an inch six and one eighth of an inch turn it around and do it at three inches This is our lid, and we've also got, which is in the right card stock, a three and should be three and yep yeah, sixteenth of an inch square. So with our scissors, we are going to cut out this shorter of the rectangles. Do a wedge there. I'm not wedging that. 
That is it. Cut it up. Cut this up. And wedge it there. And then we burnish the score lines. Let me do the same on this one. You can do this all in one. Um, oh, I've done it again. No, I haven't. Um, you can do this all in one piece if you want. No, you can't because that's 12 inches, isn't it? 12 and a half inches, really. So, put glue on the tab. And marion them up. And we'll do it the same this side and marry them up. So plenty of glue. your lid. Now we need to, we do need to trim these down a little bit. I don't know why I thought we didn't. they don't stick over the edge now. Right, I'm going to glue them down. Take the hmm, that's too big. Let me just check this fits. snug but it fits it will fit um, you know it will go just to your there but then it's only on an inch it does go on there but whether it will go on or not when we put the the um, design on the front, I don't know, but we'll check that out in a minute. I will sort that out 
when it's not a top, that's a top. That's about an eighth of an inch. Too small, too big. I think I'm gonna have to trim an eighth of an inch off. So A bit more. There we are. I will glue that on there. This is me not um, working out in my head. Not very well, obviously, but not building it. I should have built it first before I come on air. There we have a sturdy lid, right. So I know that will go on there. Like that. Now we just need to decorate the front. To do that, I have got four pieces of red at eleven and three quarters, uh, ten and three quarters. Yeah, and I've got four pieces of red. And I have got four pieces of cream, four red, full cream, at ten and five eighths. All right, that's ten and five eighths with two and three quarters, and that's ten and three quarters by two and seven eighths. Yeah, by two and seven eighths, and they will sit nicely in the middle of them. So what we're going to do is line these up, and we're going to put a design on them. We're going to put some snowy on, and lovely as a tree. Right, to keep them together, I've got some washi tape somewhere. And what I'm going to do is just put that there, put that there, and put that there. So and then I'm going to turn them over. Alright, um, the stamp sets I'm using are Mr. Snowy for the last time, um, Lovely as a Tree. And we're just going to use the row of trees. Carols of Christmas, and I'm going to just use that deer. Um, Star of Light, I'm just going to use Merry Christmas. On the tag, I'm going to put Love Santa. And then Family Party, I'm just going to use them stars. Alright, I am going to... Let me see if I've still got the mask. I have. Right. 
Вот. I need your masks for Mr. Snowy, and I've still got them. So, what we're going to do is stamp Snowy on each panel. And I should use Memento Black Ink for that. And I'm going to stamp him. I'm not going to stamp him at the same height on everyone. I want him on lower bits or higher bits. Some a bit higher on this one. This one and let's stamp him a little bit higher on this one. Now we have Mr. Snowy in four different places. Right. Now I'm going to put moss on Mr. Snowy. Really only protecting the top half of him. Because this is where we're going to add the trees. Right, I'm still using Memento Black Ink. What I'm doing is going to stamp on his head or his face and then up and then up. Same on this side. I'm going to uh, nearly. I need to mask him off. I'm going to stamp down, pressing near the head because I never did on that one. Up and up. to stamp, stamp, stamp. And that's our trees done. Right, that's all I want the memento for. Next I want the versifying. Because so I want these to stand out pretty well. And this is the little deer. And I'm going to put one there. One there, right in the middle of that seam. And can I get another no? That we'll just leave it with four. And then we want the stars, which are red, so I don't need them. We want the Merry Christmas, and we're going to put that on each panel at the bottom. Right, 
that's all I've done with this fine. Now I've got cherry cobbler here and we're going to stamp these stars. So I'm going to just stamp them randomly over the you noticed I got a ink on my thumb and it went on the card but I disguised it turn it round that's the best thing to do randomly stamp all over the um, top up of the page. I'll get it out eventually. Need to clean this. Not too much ink around the edge. Getting covered in red ink. that done and cover that up with that wet tissue. Look at this. Ready. Turn it round. And what we're going to do is with our um, cherry cobbler dark blend pen we're going to colour in the hats and the scarves I'm only colouring in the half a hat and his scarf Two. 
concentrate so I don't go out the line too much. Oh, we got the hats. Is that's the hat still. And that is all we're doing with that. Nothing else. I'll just take the tape off the back. And now all we've got to do is stick these on here. So, where's my glue? quite surprised that wasn't dried up because I never had the lid on it. This project is not a quick project, as you most probably can see. I don't have any timers on the camera while I'm filming, so I can't tell you how long it is. Tell me how long it is once I've edited it. Once I turn it round and I don't cut anything out or anything like that. What I do is what you see. But because I film upside down, I have to turn it round. before I can put it on YouTube and the thumbnail I have to shrink before that can go on YouTube right, oh I don't know why I've done that stupid woman we're going to get it back on glue them out and put them on here Like that. Now I've randomly picked this one up, so I've now got to work out. <laughs> Where are the other ones are? Let's do it this way. the next one to this. Not that one. No. 
So that one goes with that one. For this one. Goes with. Oh, he goes with that. So he goes on this side. I figured that out with the body. This one on next. Last one. So there is our decoration on our box. I do know that that will not go over and all that does is stop at the 11 inches which is all right because it is quite firm I think that is quite good Yeah. So now all that leaves is us to decorate the lid. Now I have cut out some lacy projects of mine that I have, dies. You can use ribbon if you want. I didn't want to use a ribbon. So I am going to glue this on. putting glue all around the edge of this this is what that um, I've got a big reel of double sided tape I don't think I thought about it when I did this or did I and it didn't work I know I used it and it didn't work very well on um, something. Right. Just that's not got the centre poked out. That's it. Right, got another bit here of well, that reach from there to there. Yeah. I 
didn't measure it, did I? So I'm just keep measuring as I glue a part of it. Right, I'll do one more, and that should be enough. So that fits in like that. And now we have it all gone around the middle. And what I've also got is a bow somewhere. Here's my bow bit. Where's me? white bow. I think the last time I filmed, because I cut this out ready to film then, I kept all the stars for one of the cards. And this is where they came out of one of these bows. Right, what I do with these bows, use my bone folder to shape them round then I glue Ooh. and marry that up with a hole in the middle that down like that and I put a bit of glue in the middle here and bring that down hold it down put some glue on top and bring that down and hold that for a minute or two then I get a piece of card about, I don't know how thin that is, hmm, a quarter of an inch. Put some glue on it. There is actually a die to go with this that will do this centre bit but it's just as quick for me to do this as it is to cut out a little fiddly tiny piece of card just to wrap round the bow right I'll just hold that for a little while and that will sit up there on there. But first, before I stick that on, I want to make that stick out a bit. I'm going to stick a bulldog clip on there for now while we sort the tag out. Now I've already cut the tag. And it has come out of the dies with the Santa set with um, Love Santa. So we're going to stamp that on here and I will mess it up. But don't worry, look, I've got loads. I've got more. Oh my god, that's quite 
quite alright that. Love Santa. I'll, I'll use that. Now I've also got some gold or silver. I think I'll use gold thread. Goes my bone folder. And Do is put that through. Collect out and pull it tight. Right. I don't suppose it matters what end I use or what side. Hmm. Right, with my bone folder, I am going to try and straighten out this string because it's all got kinks in it. That's better. And we're going to stick it on here with a little bit of double-sided tape. Oh, that's a bit long. Off. There you are. Right, cut that off. And we'll get our bow and our glue, and we're going to glue, put your glue on the knot and on the bit of the bow that will hit the box and we're going to fold that and put that hold it down until it dries or connects And now you have your box, your wine box. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my projects, please subscribe. Um, yeah, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.